In our culture, when the couple who marry, in the white mall, we need to have two Mekong represent each family. In the green mall, they will have one person represent each family. The person, that two person, or that three people, they will carry the message back and forth. In our culture, when the wedding ceremony, we don't allow the both parents come and sit down and talk to one another. We will, that's why we have the representative from each family come and sit down, talk. Usually, in our culture, marriage depends. They used to take and bring the old stuff for we don't know how long, up to during the wedding ceremony. So that's why we try to t keep both parents away and need the representative replaced and talk. If we have a daughter who dating and she's pregnant before she marry, she will, she will need to say that this is the man who come in and dating me. If she not be able to pinpoint and bring up the man come in, the problem is in our culture, we don't allow any daughter or any outsider, out clans having baby inside the house. Then the parents will find a place separate outside for her to stay at least 30 days after the baby is born. That will be harder than for her to get married and will have kid, will have child after the marriage. So that's very important in Laos. We not really see a woman who not married and having kid before she's married. But how come after a mom woman marriage, yes. they don't change their last name? Because on the, I, I, I met many, many, you know, People come from different countries. This is the first time, you know, mm -hmm. women doesn't change last name. You know, do you have any explanation for that? I, I will try to answer. Uh -huh. That is a very good question. But matter of fact, my wife changed and accept my last name, Lee. Oh. My wife came from the Xiong family. Ah, uh -huh. uh, okay, I already got the clients out. So we figured out that we don't w really want to totally change her last name. Uh -huh. We want to keep her last name as the middle name yeah. to show to our children that we have not marry within the same clans. Uh -huh. So even she took my last name as her last name, uh -huh. keeping her last name as the middle name. So that's very important. Being a mom, man, or uh, being a family, we got to have 5,000 come up to pay the dowry. In terms of that, the dowry is nothing wrong if you not pay. But then it's respect for the parents. Just say thank you to the parents that you take good care of your daughter until she gr grow up. I want to marry her. This is the money I give to you. More likely, I'm going to take her away. No one going to help you. So I give you this money. You can spend any time. Whatsoever you need help, you just spend. After the man's marry, there are women gonna go stay with their husband. Whatever they make, it's gonna belong to the man's side and family. And that is very important. After they marry, they have children, all the children will take their husband's last name. And the other question before I go to the question is about the dowry, the standardized $5,000. Yes. If that's a standard, are there other exceptions like dowries that are less than 5000 or above and why? Okay. Uh, I cannot say standard. The dowry is depend on each parent. I see many parents, many monk parents, they're not asking any, any dowry. They just say, I want the couple who come in front of both four parents 
more like the, the uh, husband side and the wife side need to come and stand in and the couple need to promise that they will stay together the rest of their life. They just have a ceremony for the couple only. But if the parents who more likely we're gonna say free, okay, give free, no cost. But the wedding it might cost more than five thousand. But if those who say, "Oh, I just use the stand standard five thousand, probably the wedding total the wedding not just only five thousand, eight thousand total cost.